Good morning friends, welcome to PK, JPSC and BPSC channel. So today we are going to do November current affair which is world. So whatever happen in world we are going to do today. Last week, 3-4 days back I had done November current affair based on what, whatever happened in India and next lecture will be about state current affair, what is, whatever is important news from state will do that. So let's start our class. Okay, the first question though I believe could not be that important but still uh, you should uh, remember that President Alessin Quattare, you know President Alessin Quattare of Ivory Coast win presidential election for third term. Though it's not that important but still I believe we should have some knowledge about this thing. Okay, okay this is uh, kind of important question, UN adopts India sponsored resolution on nuclear disarmament and the this what is this uh, nuclear uh, disarmament convention? It was the convention on the prohibition of the use of nuclear weapon and was actually made backed by majority of union member and it has been tabled in, in uh, by India actually since 1982. So this actually convention on the prohibition of use of nuclear weapon was actually tabled by India in UN from 1982. Finally, it was uh, UN adopts uh, India sponsor resolution. Let's move ahead. Okay, we talk about uh, there is a uh, uh, terrorist organization, Islamic movement group that is East Turkestan Islamic movement. It's, it's mostly, you know, active in Xinjiang province of China and but United States removes East Tur Turkestan Islamic movement from terror list though China is not happy about this but United States of America has removed this group from terror list. Okay, this is one of the most important question Malabar naval exercise. Okay, so the Malabar naval exercise navies of India, United States, Japan and Australia participate in the 24th edition, remember this 24th edition will be very important of naval exercise in Bay of Bengal. So in this thing, uh, India is obviously participated, India is part of uh, Malabar naval exercise, US is a part of uh, Malabar naval exercise, Japan is a part of na Malabar naval exercise, but new entries of Australia and China is again not happy because of this. Okay, let's talk about what is some Malabar, uh, history of Malabar uh, annual exercise. So when you see it was started in 1992, it's a bilateral day. Previously, it was a bilateral drill between Indian Navy and US Navy, okay, uh, in the Indian Ocean and Japan joined it in 2015. So 1992 to 2015, this exercise was basically India and USA exercise and 2015, Japan had joined and finally 2020. Australia has joined okay this is also kind of important but easy question actually Bangladesh and US launch joint naval exercise known as Karat Bangladesh 2020 why I'm saying easy uh, because the term Bangladesh is there nevertheless it could be tough if they ask you which uh, exercise is this is it army is it air force or is it naval so this is a joint naval exercise remember this thing so let's move ahead Okay, OPEC Secretariat host fourth high level meeting of OPEC India Dialogue co-chaired by Indian Union uh, Dharminder Pradhan and Indian Union Minister Dharminder Pradhan and Mohammed Sansui. Okay, so let's, uh, this is not that important but in what will be the important? Important will be OPEC history. We should know when OPEC was founded. It was founded in 1916 Baghdad. This is very important, 1916 Baghdad, Iraq, uh, with the signing of an agreement by five countries. So five countries signed an agreement. Who were the main country who signed the agreement at that particular time? You all should know. This is Islamic Republic of Iran, Iraq, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia and Venezuela. Okay. So this Iran, Iraq, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia and one thing is Venezuela. But the fascinating thing is headquarter. Headquarter is in Austria, Vienna. So this is very important. Remember this fact. Uh, the OPEC headquarter is in uh, Vienna, Austria. 
Okay, next uh, we'll talk about Shanghai Cooperation Organization Summit held in 2020. And who chaired it is an important question. It is actually chaired by Russian President Putin. Okay, and uh, next question will be also important. Uh, Myanmar election, what happened in Myanmar election? Suki's party win absolute majority in the poll. So, you should know Suki party wins absolute majority in the poll in Myanmar. Okay. Okay, let's talk about this question. This is also very important. PM Modi and Vietnam counterpart. Guan Zuan Phuc. Okay, Guan Zuan Phuc. I'm not very sure I'm pronouncing it right or not. Co-chair 17th ASEAN India Summit. Okay, so remember this 17th ASEAN India Summit is co-chaired by, chaired by in, uh, PM Modi and Vietnam counterpart Guan Zuan Phuc. And this, is, this was 17th ASEAN India Summit. Summit. But we should know who, which, how many countries are there in ASEAN and which all are the country, who all are in ASEAN. So first we will start with B, Bruni, C, Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Myanmar, the, the Philippines, remember this term, the Philippines. Philippines is known as the Philippines, like the USA, the UK, Singapore, Thailand and Vietnam. Okay. So, these are very important questions. I am repeating again. Bruni, Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos, okay, Mal Malaysia, Myanmar, and the Philippines, the, uh, not the, in this case, only Singapore, Thailand, and Vietnam. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 countries. But again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 countries. Okay. So, let's move ahead. Okay. This is very important and very easy type of question because everyone uh, of you know this. Joseph Robinton Biden Jr. was elected as the 46th, but this will be important question. Number, which number of president he was? Actually, 46th president of USA and date it will be important for some examination november 7 2020 he was elected on november 7 2020 though he will take uh, he will start his uh, pre president's journey from 20th january 20th january 2021 if trump uh, gives him this chance i don't know there will be there can be a lots of controversy okay 306 electors, okay, this we should know how many electors, actually like India, they also need 272 electors, but the process is little different, I am not going to discuss process here, 306 electors voted for Biden and 232 for Trump, so and Kamala Harris is vice president, she is first African Asian vice president, why I am saying African, because her father is from Africa, but her mother is from India. Okay, they are both from Democratic Party. Remember, this is very important question because BPSC, JPSC, this type of examination they ask. They, the BPSC, JPSC will ask 46th President, November 7th and Democratic Party. Okay, first we should know a little bit of history of United States of America. Who was the first President of United States of America? First President of United States of America was George Washington and he was the only guy who was not affiliated to any party. Neither he was Republican or neither he was Democrat, okay. So, and uh, there was one guy who was actually faced impeachment and also resigned, uh, though uh, the, Donald Trump also faced impeachment, but he has never resigned. Mm -hmm. Basically, the impeachment motion was, uh, was not successful, uh, but Richard Nixon actually faced impeachment, but before uh, the impeachment, he only resigned. Him, resigned. So, this you should remember. Okay, and next three one question is also important. Abraham Lincoln, James A. Garfield, William McKinley, and John F. Kennedy was the four U.S. president who were assassinated. So remember this thing. This two three thing will be important. Okay, so let's move to the next question. Eight BRICS science, technology, and innovative ministerial meeting held virtually. Okay, so this is important. Eight. BRICS Science Technology Innovative Ministerial Meeting held virtually. Okay, let's move to next question. 15th Asia Pacific Nation sign China backed RCP trade deal. Okay, remember this how many they can ask how many nations signed China backed you know RCEP uh, trade deal. 
so answer will be 15 15 but remember this india has not signed it india opted out last year the pact was signed in 37th asean virtual summit hosted in by vietnam so 37th asean virtual summit was hosted by vietnam and this deal was signed there so let's move to the next question okay uh, Okay, 15th East Asia Summit held virtually under Vietnam 2020. Okay, this is also very important. 15th East Asia uh, Summit held virtually under Vietnam. Okay, this is not that important, but still, Moldovan President election, Maya Sandu registered a comfortable win to become first woman president of Moldova. Okay, 12th BRIC Summit held virtually. And PM Modi call for multilateralism and deep international cooperation. Though what is important? Important is summit was hosted by Russia. Okay, BRICS bring together five major emerging economics comprising of 41% of world population and about 24% of global GDP. Okay, first summit held in 2009. South Africa joined in 2010. BRICS, uh, BRIC, that is B R I C became BRICS, B-R-I-C-S in 2011, okay, and 15th G20 summit uh, happened, held, held in South Arabia, remember this thing in 2023, India will hold G20 summit, okay, in 2021, Italy will hold G20 summit and 2022, Indonesia will hold G20 summit. So, you should remember this question. So, guys, that's it from my side. I'll meet, uh, I'll meet you in the next video. And I'm also going to creating JPSC uh, paper 2, that is PT paper 2 video. Please uh, keep uh, uh, watching my videos. Please share with, uh, share with your friend. And please like, subscribe my channel. So, bye-bye. Enjoy.